So what else do you have in there? Got my kerchief in here that brought, um, and I use it to kind of wipe up the sweat and stuff from the trail. Well, that thing's absolutely filthy. Let me see Thank that. Thank you, pardon. Well, do you mind if I wash this for you? Well, do be careful. I'm just going to put it in some of our special washing solution yeah. here. This will be quite harmless. You know, though, once we wash it, we're going to have to dry it. I wonder if you could light a candle there, and we'll use that to uh, dry it once we have it good and clean. Now, this is uh, very precious to you, you yes, say. Yes, it's my granddad's. Yeah, well. Be careful. Oh, yes. Well, I wouldn't damage something that's so important to you. But it, it did get quite wet, didn't it? So yeah. let's see if we can dry it over the candle here. Well, it's not drying very well, is it? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. Mr. Oh, Lovell, Mr. Lovell, help me oh, here. Oh, God. Help me here. Oh. Well, I guess it sort of survived, and it is pretty clean. But uh, you know, the reason we could do that is that the washing solution that I had over here is actually something you all have at home. It's rubbing alcohol. Or for you chemists, it's called isopropyl alcohol. Except it's not pure alcohol. It's a 50-50 mixture of alcohol and water. Now, you probably know that alcohol burns, but water doesn't burn. In fact, water puts out fires. And if you mix it in just the right way, half alcohol, half water, it burns. But it burns at such a low temperature that it doesn't set the cotton on fire. And so uh, it's not very good at washing it, really. I just uh, made a joke out of that. But uh, it, is, it is a way to illustrate the properties of, of certain kinds of liquids.